And so um, we'll go over kind of along the surface anatomy of the chest where you'll, also, you'll appreciate the normal breath sounds. Remember, these are normal sounds is where you should typically hear them, okay? So remembering um, bronchial sounds, you'll typically hear over, or tracheal sounds as they're also known, you'll hear, of course, over the trachea. So if you find your angle of Louis, or your, uh, sorry, supersternal notch, and go just inferiorly, and listen over to the trachea. And just breathe through your mouth. The sounds there will be a bit more high-pitched and a little bit more coarse, again, because there's a lot more air moving there at a much faster speed, okay? The next, sec next area, or next sounds are your bronchovesicular sounds. And those are more, um, you know, if your primary, maybe your secondary branches of your bronchi, you know, where they kind of um, bifurcate about at the angle of Louis. Um, so you'll find the, the sternum and just listen directly parasternally. That's why when we auscultate segments, we can usually come a little more, more laterally, because uh, you'll get your bronchial vesicular sounds more here, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, okay? These are a little bit more of a medium pitch, and the inspiratory to expiratory ratio, as far as what you appreciate, is about even tracheal sounds, it's about a um, one to two ratio as far as um, inspiration to expiration. Bronchial vesicular is a one to one, you hear them evenly. The last one we'll cover are vesicular sounds, is what you hear um, when you're auscultating lung segments because those are in the peripheral fields where we're, you know, your terminal um, or respiratory bronchioles and your alveolar sacs and ducts are at, okay? Remember, those are a little bit more lower pressure, lower speed, so the sounds are a little more faint. So if you think in order, you know, high, medium, low, okay, in the periphery. So for practice, we'll do the anterior segment of the upper lobe for our bronchiovesicular sounds. Or sorry, vesicular sounds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Again, these sounds are a little lower pitch, um, you know, a little more quiet. And the bases, um, you know, the, the lower parts of the lobe, you know, they may be even more quiet. Again, their ratio is about a, a two to one inspiration to expiration as far as what you appreciate. So you may very well may not hear much of an expiration sound. Again, these are the normal locations of where you appreciate sounds. Um, you may see changes if someone has, say, a pneumonia or some kind of consolidation, where you may hear bronchial vesicular sounds in a peripheral field. You know that's not a normal finding. Okay.